In this very short video, we're going to go over the last part of the seller's menu, that is other. And this is where you can hook up and get a get response account or a send reach account. These are two autoresponders that work hand in hand with JVZoo. Now, the important thing is you need to get them through your JVZoo dashboard in order for them to truly interface together well. They will work if you have an existing GetResponse or SendReach account. I am familiar with GetResponse as I am a GetResponse user. SendReach I have not used. But in the case of GetResponse, other GetResponse accounts will work. However, if you get your GetResponse account through JVZoo at this link, it will be set to single opt-in for your buyers. That means that when you sell one of your products, your buyer automatically gets added to your list without them having to do a confirmation. This is legal under the CAN spam rules because as a buyer, they have given a tacit um, permission to you to send them emails about your product and about updates for that. Uh, obviously, I am not an attorney, so don't take my advice as legal advice. However, it has been approved through GetResponse and JVZoo to do things this way. So you go to get a JVZoo GetResponse account, click through that, and it will take you to the form to fill out in order to get a GetResponse autoresponder account. Once you have this connected to your JVZoo account, you will have to get the API code from your GetResponse account and put it into my account, autoresponders, manage your JVZoo GetResponse account. Once that's in there, you can then add a list to your GetResponse account directly from JVZoo. We'll go through to that. And what you do basically, as you see here, is just type the name of the new list that you want to create. So we would call this new list. Good practice is to use no capitals, no spaces. If you need to break up words, use an underscore. So I'm going to create this in my JVZoo get response account as an example. And once it's created, oh, now see, someone else is already using this name. So let's give it a, a unique string of numbers at the end so I know it will work. You can only use names that are unique across the entire GetResponse system. So now that we have this new list created, I have my API key blocked out so you can't see it, but I can set a default GetResponse campaign by pulling this list down. And if you do this on your own account, you'll see a list of all of your GetResponse lists that are in your campaign. Obviously, I have mine blocked out here. But you can select a list to use, and then this will be appear anywhere in, for example, the setup date details for a product that are under your seller's dashboard. In the get uh, the auto response section, you can select get response and then import your defaults. And it will import all of your lists and you can select off of that drop down which list you want to have buyers added to. Send reach works similarly, so we really don't need to go into too much detail about that, but this is how you get a JVZoo, get response or send reach account, and then how you add a list to those respective accounts.